I will talk about, in these few minutes, youth and in Angola, social and political transformation. This is a, some kind of personal research, has no, su no support apart from the Universitary Institute in Lisbon, where I was based at the time. So why youth in Angola and why this transformation is inserted also in a project based in Codesia, on youth institutes. We wanted to know what is happening or what youth are doing at this moment in Africa. And in Angola was a certain, was the, the right moment because in 2000, this, this research took place last year in 2012, because we were celebrating 10 years of peace. It was a time for a balance. And we also had the general elections. So I wanted to, to talk through the interview, through direct and participation observation, through bibliography and statistical data, what is happening in Angola. And the main, the main question, the, the main answers that I got is that youth is completely, the country itself is pacing through a very dra dramatic and very fast transformations. And what it was yesterday is not the same thing today. And youth in the middle of this, all this transformation is a little bit forgotten by not only the government, but also by the enterprise. We're talking about a country that 85% of the population is under 14 years old. So there come also the difficult to defend what is youth and what is not youth. It's a time of changing, of conflicts, what Alcinda calls waitinghood. So basically, Angolan you find in that period of, of waitinghood. So I asked them, what is, what is the main differences between the past, because we were celebrating 10 years of peace, so it was a time of balance, and what, what is the main changings? So what can we say is that Angolan youth, at this moment, they change, they wanted a better future, like everybody. They're fighting for that. They're using now the new technology that seems easier, but in a contest, in a, contest, in a country, for instance, like Angola, in Africa, where the access to internet is very controlled, is very weak. So they're using all the means that they can to be heard, to be connected to the rest of the world. They're also using new methods, like such, they're not writing because the education level is very low, but they're using the music, they're using theater, they're using new technology. For example, I gave you some examples of how they're getting together to complain about their situation. And only these two topics that, they, they were, that was referred for everybody, that called the government or the, the government attentions, and they started to improve new policies just to improve your of conditions such as they started, to, they created a project to build houses for them, to they spread the higher education out from Rwanda because 2009 it was concentrated in the capital. So we have 18 provinces. They started a program to improve entrepreneurship and then the youth was not happy yet and complaining and keep complaining and until recently and this happened that's why this work is still in progress the um, the president and the minister decided to listen directly to the youth so they decided to run all the country to talk to the youth and to to listen what they their main complaints and the main complaints of youth at this moment is unemployment although the education level is very very low so they all about they're all worried about edu uh, about employment. So this took place this last weekend, so I don't have, I don't have results. But the main complaints, I've, I've already knew that because I talked to them before, a year ago. So now the government is trying to, at least they say, it's what they're saying, in a country with such a, a high grade, rate in economic growth, why youth is complaining about employment? Because most of them are in the formal economy, and that has to be changed. So what I can conclude about this is that they, they, they're interested in building a new Angola, they're interested in change society, they're interested in be connected to the outside, although the language for us is the main constraint. But they, they're fighting for that. They're not just saying, well, I want this, but I don't know how to. And now they're looking for how to get there. And these, these ways of looking for that called the government attention. And we are, I think we are in a very good process, in a very good 
at least I'm optimistic and related to that. So let's see what is happening to these complaints that the government, they, they were all more than 3,000 people in the same place discussing about this. So let's see. I hope things are, are going to improve. But they're improving slowly, 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 but they're improving. So I hope, let's see, within a year, I hope to be here to, to show what real improvements this took for us. Thank you.